So good morning everyone, today I'm in Alton and I'm starting one of the walks that uh, Hampshire has or Hampshire is regarded as a long distance path. Uh, today I'm going to be walking, or today and tomorrow I'm going to be walking the um, Hangers Way which starts in Alton and takes all the way down to Queen Elizabeth Country Park, a total of 21 miles. Uh, I'm planning a wild camp overnight along the way. Um, and then I'm just going to push on today, see how far I can get and uh, make a decision as to where I'll stop later on. But that's it for now, I'll bring you back later on today where I've got some more stuff to uh, show you. I've just crossed over the A31, which is a busy road alongside Alton, and I'm now heading out uh, along the Hangers Way. Further up here to my left I will have Neathan Down. So this is the start of Neathan Down. I don't actually go up onto the top of it, I just kind of contour along the bottom section of it. So we started out in the village or town of Alton this morning from the start of the hangers, hangers way uh, starting point of the station. So far the walk has been pretty flat, undulating farm and through the countryside. I think I've done about 3k maybe and I'm just entering the village of East Wildham. So I'll uh, show you now. So that's the main road going through East Weldon, that's the, uh, the village pub. And I'm now going to head towards the east, further up this road, probably for another 100 metres or so, where I'll then find the uh, Hangers Way path and rejoin it. King John's Hill and this is King John's Hill and again I'm just about to kind of contour around the, uh, the lowest section of the hill I'm now entering a uh, section of the walk which takes me through a wooded area probably for about two kilometres uh, first of all we'll go through part of Binswood and then we move on down further south into Hartleywood. So now following what's part of an old byway, which should take me down past Wick Hill, Wick Hill Hangar and Wick Hill Farm. So it's probably the first hangar that I'm going to walk past along the way. So for those of you that don't know what a hangar is, a hangar is the name given to a, uh, a steep sided hill with woodland, woodland on it. So this area here is known as Wick Hill Hangar. Basically it's a very steep slided slope full of trees that runs all the way down Wick Hill. I'll follow this path down into uh, Selborne basically, pass through the village and then on to, uh, 
towards Hawkley. So weather today has been uh, pretty good so far. It's mild, warm, 21, 22 degrees maybe. Overcast, patchy sunshine, quite mild. There is a, st a strong breeze when you're up on the hills. Um, the wind's been blowing sort of maybe 20, 25 miles per hour from the northeast all day. It's due to carry on like that throughout the day. But where I am at the moment, um, I'm low down, surrounded by woodland. It's quite sheltered and uh, no issue at all with the wind here. So we're walking about uh, just over two hours now. Uh, I've completed uh, just under 10k. Um, now just on the edges of Selborne. Uh, currently standing in what's known as Church Meadow. National Trust area. See the sign just over here. And uh, behind me, what we got the church and the graveyard for Selborne. So anyway, I'm going to head on into uh, Selborne now and uh, try and find a bite to eat somewhere and then carry on. of a lower hill at the moment and uh, there's not a massive amount to show you because it's a hangar it's, it's steep sided and lots of thick woodland so to my left which is towards the north trees trees and more trees can't see a great deal then obviously if I go to my right more trees there is a field up there, but it's a big open field, which is farmland. So again, not a great deal to see up there. So I'll just have to bring you back to the uh, footpath, and you can see what the terrain's like. So I'm about to head down off the top of Noah Hill now. Follow the path down. When I get to the bottom of here, I'm going to stop for uh, a lunch break. And, uh, try and top up some water from a spring that's down here. Hopefully on the way down I might actually get a glimpse towards Hawkley uh, Hangar. So this is the uh, st steepest descent off of uh, Nor Hill. It's not too bad. But a lot worse. Fairly short as well. I shouldn't feel it too much on my knees. So welcome to Hawkley Hangar. Currently on the path, going along the uh, the northern side of the hangar, and these are the slopes that go up into it, or up along the side of it. Very steep wooded slopes. Needless to say, I'm glad I'm walking down here on the uh, more level flat ground. And I've just entered the village of Hawkley. It looks 
busy, a lot of cars on the green here. It is about 20 past 4 now. Initially I was thinking of finding somewhere to uh, camp near Hawkley, but um, I've decided as it's only 4 o'clock, or just gone 4, I'm still feeling pretty good, not too tired at all. Legs are still feeling good, so I'm going to uh, make my way up to the shoulder of Mutton Hill and uh, get a little bit nearer to the end of the walk just while the weather's good and while I'm feeling good I've got a few more hours of light yet so yep I'm now heading to shoulder of Mutton Hill I'm just going to go downhill first of all there's a stream that runs through the bottom of this valley down here and then I've got the pleasure of climbing all the way back up the shoulder of Mutton Hill which to be honest I've done once before and it's a bit of a killer of a hill it's very steep even though it's only for a short period of time so in the distance you can see Selborne Hill it's the furthest one and then over to the to the left slightly you've got Hawkley Hill which is just above the houses and the fields over there and then I've just walked across from there through into Hawkley along into uh, Oakshot and up this small hill out of Oakshot So far today I've walked about 20 kilometres, or just over 20 kilometres along the hangar's way. I'm just approaching the top of, um, I forgot what it's called now. Yeah, just approaching the top of Shoulder and Mutton Hill. And pretty much from, from there it's down into uh, Petersfield. I must get on because the, uh, the light is going. It's just gone five o'clock. Uh, I've got about two hours of light left. So now I'm just descending the uh, shoulder of Mutton Hill. Took a few photos at the top, but um, there's quite a few people up there, so don't hang around for too long and couldn't really take any uh, video footage because everyone was uh, there anyway I now need to uh, make a move and try and find somewhere to uh, get down for the night so this is camp for the night this time I've decided to take out my uh, hammock DD hammock and the DD top to go with it, 3x3 three three meter. It's quite big. So uh, I'm going to tuck in to dinner, which is a, uh, a bench meal curry. I'll have that, sit back and rest and relax, and uh, they get off to sleep, I think.